Hi everyone, welcome to a kitchen sketchbook. In this episode, we're going to show you how to make tempeh at home and a couple of recipes that show the versatility of tempeh as an ingredient. All of this dish is from tempeh. You know, there's so many wonderful things about tempeh. Tempeh is primarily made with dry soybeans and they're super cheap and you can pick these up pretty much everywhere. Yeah, great. And go side, go chin to go. Go chin up. Look, look, look up, man. Soybeans are extremely healthy, very high level of protein and contain many of the essential nutrients that we need. But there are many other ingredients you could use to make tempeh. You could use other beans such as chickpeas or you can mix in some grains like pumpkin or sunflower seed. But we'll use dry soybeans. First of all we have to soak them for a good five or six hours. Then you're going to boil them for a good half hour, taking care to get rid of all of that foam. And then you bring them to the boil a second time, and then rinse them and start de-hulling the beans to remove the skin. Listen, you do have to put a bit of effort into making tempeh, but the result is so rewarding. Next thing is that it's really important that you thoroughly dry the soya beans. The tempeh starter is a combination of rice flour and the ragi tempeh itself. The ratio is roughly about one teaspoon of the ragi tempeh to one tablespoon of rice flour. To make the magic happen, you don't need that much tempeh starter mix to cover the soya beans. But just to emphasize, just make sure there's no surface moisture on the beans before you add the starter. There's enough moisture in the beans already for the fermentation to take place. Too much and the mycelium will drown. The next stage is to wrap the tempeh. And traditionally in Java, you would use banana leaves as Indra is using here. But it's more practical now to use a Ziploc bag, though less environmentally friendly. But just remember to pierce these bags a few times just to let the tempeh breathe. And now we come to the main event. I put my cameras on time lapse so you can see what's happening. Temperature's about 32 degrees Celsius. It takes 24 hours for the tempeh to ferment, but you can really see the cottony mycelium bind the soya beans together in the last four or five hours. This is the magic of the mycelium of the Rhizopus oligosporus mold. It has antibacterial properties like penicillin. There's been no recorded cases of food poisoning from tempeh in Indonesia. It has worked, which is amazing. I mean, it's magical, absolutely magical, isn't it? Yeah, it's magical. Isn't it amazing that in just one day you can turn a bunch of loose beans into a solid mass which then can be cut into all sorts of shapes and cooked with. Now I'm going to show you three very different but simple recipe for tempeh. First some tasty vegan burger with the black soya bean tempeh. I marinate in garlic, turmeric and coriander and lightly fried. I like eating this with sambal kacang, of course. For a Chinese dish, I fried some garlic and ginger. Add small cube of tempeh. We can treat tempeh just like chicken, but it's so much more ethical. Stir fry this with some fresh vegetable. some oyster sauce. And little sesame oil. Ready in five minutes and absolutely yummy. I like to make a sweet and sour dish. I fried some thin strips of tempeh. Then garlic, onion, galangal, and kaffir lime leaves. 
followed by tamarind. Then mix some ketchup manis and a little palm sugar. There are so many dishes in Indonesia. My home and the home of tempeh. Stir some mild red chili. Then mix the tempeh with some peanuts. Why don't you try it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Delicious. That's tempeh. That's tempeh. I hope you enjoyed this episode of our kitchen sketchbook and please do support us by sharing and subscribing to this channel. Thank you so much everybody and do take very good care of yourselves.